Kelsey from the Food Trust and I want to talk to you today about food and our food system. I have with me my garden journal where I write down observations about plants and animals. You may have kept journals or recorded observations in science class and it's an important practice. If you have a journal, now would be a great time to use it. But any piece of paper will do. What I want you to do is write down everything you ate during your last meal. I'll do the same. Be descriptive. Okay, once you've done that, underline everything that came from a plant. For breakfast today, I had a granola bar with oats and peanut butter and a banana. So, I underlined oats, peanut, and banana. All plants. I bet you've eaten foods today that come from plants also. But let's dig a little deeper. Where did the plants originally grow? Where did they come from? Think about where you get your food. You might be thinking you get your food from the grocery store. I get most of my food from the grocery store too. When we're at the grocery store, we can sometimes find more information about where the food originally came from before it even got to the grocery store by looking at the packaging. Take this lettuce package for example. If you look closely at it, you can see that this lettuce was grown on a farm in our state of Pennsylvania. You might also see things like product of USA, product of Mexico, or other countries. Take note of this next time you're in the grocery store. You might also get food from farmers markets or even from gardens. And that food is super local and the plants don't have a long way to travel. One fun activity you can do is draw a map of the journey your food takes from farm to plate. I have some examples. This is the journey my banana took to get from Costa Rica to my kitchen. Bananas grow in tropical places, so they usually have quite a long journey to get to us. The lettuce, on the other hand, has a shorter journey. This is the lettuce that came from the farm in Allen Wood, Pennsylvania's journey, about 170 miles. And lastly, I have the journey the fruits and vegetables in my garden will take to get from garden to plate mapped out here. Work with a parent or a caregiver to draw some maps of your own. Before we go, I'll show you this last journey since it's super quick. Than that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.